Welcome back to Economics and Comics, guys. Uh, I'm excited to bring you this review on Bone Parish 2. I, I think this book is really good. I think it's gonna, it has legs and it's gonna keep going. So if you're not interested in learning more about it now, please stop and now and go watch one of our other videos. We got tons of stuff to look at. So let's begin. It starts with um, Dante at the end last time. He was like with a bunch of like zombie ghoul chicks and that was the dealer on the street at the beginning of number one so he OD'd on it right and so then it goes to the house with the mom and she's talking to Bray the son who wants to take over and she's like we couldn't work out that deal with the Italians they wanted to take over the whole business and uh, he's you know upset he just really came to tell her that the street guy died and the drug dealer died or yeah, the dealer died, and if, maybe if he was handling it, it wouldn't have happened. So then it starts to flash back with Bray and his dad. And, like, Bray becoming a man in the gangbanger world, the gangster world, and his dad giving him the gun and saying, go handle your business. If you don't, that's fine, too, but you have to choose. So it shows Bray, you know, going and killing somebody. Then it switches over to the sister. And uh, they're talking about how she makes the the ash and uh you know she won't tell him it's a secret you know so she keeps it a secret and then she flashes back to her and her other brother uh leon because that's who they were just talking about and about how she said dad's never going to be there i'll handle stuff on myself it, there's a bunch of flashbacks in this in this book kind of tell you more stories so then Liam and Bray come, and uh, Bray's like, I want to see her, and Liam's like, she's busy. Whenever the red light's on outside, she's working. So apparently they, they found another guy who's, they're making ash from his skeletal remains or whatever. It's actually like a little piece. I don't know if it's skeleton or some other little secret spot somewhere on the body. Maybe it's her, I don't know, soul or something, some weird thing. Then they find out they have all types of, like, interesting people that they're making the ash from. But this one in particular, this Jude Bia name or whatever, is uh, supposedly a voodoo guy, voodoo doctor. And she thinks it'll be good. And then she flashes back to, uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure she's flat. yeah, she's flashing back to her boyfriend, Lucian. And he's a freak. Uh, I think he taught her how to make the ash. And then he's got some chick tied up in the basement and he's thinking of a way to like take people's memories while they're alive instead of dead. And he like hands a rice and a knife and stuff. And all of a sudden you see a bottle with his stuff in it. So he's gone. She remembered him and he's dead. So then it goes to the mom, the leader of the this uh, gang or group. She's meeting with the mobster again from the last issue. And he's like, you know, I respect your decision. Let's go have dinner. So... She says, fine. Then you see, uh, I think it's Bray, and he's meeting with the cops. So he's working with the cops, I think. And they're telling him, look, it's not looking too good for you, you know. And, and he's like, you know, the next people you got to deal with is the Mexican cartel, and they're not going to be as easy as the other guys. And he's like, I can deal with it. And he goes a flashback remembering... You know, like some flood or something. That must have been the New Orleans flood uh, a long time ago when the dams broke or something. And they're alone with the family. And they'll take care of it and stuff like that. So then all of a sudden you go to this other guy, like this leader of a cult. And he's like getting all his followers to drink poison and die. And then he drinks it himself and dies. It's a memory of like another powerful cult leader. And then it goes to a guy named Raphael. And I believe this guy is the head of the Mexican cartel. So he was using the drug and he tripped out and he's like, man, that's good. I um, I was powerful, I was this guy and everyone died for him, and for him and he even killed himself and I felt all the power. I really want more. So I think basically what they're saying is the Mexican cartel is coming next after the family for the ash. And that's it. 
So it, it's pretty good. I think it's going to get better and better. I can see this turning into a show. So my suggestion, buy number two. Read it. If you like it, let me know. I did. I'm hoping for more next time. But uh, I think they're doing pretty well so far. So I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.